Hey, my name is Matt Storr and I repair saxophones for a living. Today I would like to show you uh, the what the lacquer overspray on original Selmer pads looks like. Um, I'm lucky enough to see an awful lot of original lacquer, original pads, horns of various makes, um, which is highly instructive as far as repair goes because you get to see how they did it at the factory, what the original uh, key heights that they had decided upon were. Um, and how things looked before any other repairman touched them. So you really reduce your variables and get a much better idea of what these horns originally looked like when they were fresh out of the factory, what you would have seen if you'd bought these new. Now with Selmers, um, they did for, for quite a long time, the way that they put them together um, was uh, the last coat of lacquer they would do after they'd actually finished the horn. So the pads are in, everything is playing, they would just cork the keys shut and then do one final coat of lacquer. And this horn has original pads and this is what that looks like. So you see there on this pad, if I can get it to focus nice and clear, there we go, that's better. Um, you can see on this pad that everything outside of the tone hole impression is kind of shiny and on the inside looks like regular leather and that is because when they clamped these keys shut and then they lacquered it, lacquer got on the part of the leather that is exposed but on the inside it looks like normal leather. It's not shiny or anything like that. And that is that final coat of lacquer at the factory. So these are factory pads. This horn has never been disassembled um, and it actually still plays decently on its original pads. Just really hasn't been played much at all. But on uh, original pad Selmers, you can see this uh, to varying degrees on each pad. Sometimes it's a bit more difficult to see than others on this like G pad here. It's kind of tough to see um, the difference between the inner and the outer, but you can see on the outer that it's shiny versus the inside. Um, and here on the lower stack, you can see again how the outside of the tone hole impression is shiny and smooth and the inside looks more like normal uh, untreated leather. It's got a bit more texture to it, looks drier and not shiny. But um, yeah, that's how these looked. And if you ever see that on a Selmer, usually that means that you're looking at the original pads. And uh, you know, I've heard people say several times that this is just a myth, but I've seen it probably upwards of a hundred times, taken photos and still some people don't believe, but I figured I would uh, make a video so that more people can see what I'm talking about here. And as far as I know, this was restricted mostly to the uh, balanced action through Mark VI run, um, although I wouldn't be surprised if it was earlier, but I think it was mostly on American assembled horns. Um, in order to evade tariffs, um, Selmer would send the parts of the saxophone here to the U.S., and they would be... Uh, finished in Elkhart and I'm not totally sure but uh, word you know among repairmen and collectors is that uh, this is at least more common on the American assembled horns if not exclusive to them but I'm not sure about that part I just know that um, original pad Selmers from certain eras uh, you can see this and if you do see this then that means you've got an original pads horn all right, hope this was helpful, useful, informative, interesting. My name is Matt Storr. I repair saxophones for a living. And uh, if you've got any comments, questions, concerns, anything I can help you with, leave a comment here, send me an email, check out my website. Thanks for watching.